So here's how you can graph the linear equation 2x minus 5y equals 10. There are two ways you could do it. You could use a table of values, and that would work fine, although it gets a little bit messy with this. I prefer to use slope-intercept form here to do this. It's a little bit quicker. So to do that, I need to get the equation here in this form. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. So the x's are gone here, and now we end up with this. And I think I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. That'll get rid of the 5 over here. So 10 divided by negative 5, that's negative 2. And then negative 2 over negative 5, that's just positive 2 over 5x. Then I want to put the x first so it matches slope-intercept form. Now we can graph this pretty easily. We see the negative 2, that's the y-intercept. That's where we intercept the y-axis here, right here at negative 2. And then the slope, 2 fifths, that's the rise, that's the 2, and then the run, that's 5. So we go to our y-intercept here, we rise 1, 2, and we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we do it again, we'd rise 1, 2, and go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're off the graph. Let's go in the other direction, let's go down 1, 2, and to the left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There we go. Let's put a line through that. I'll put arrows to show it goes to infinity, and that is the graph for the equation 2x minus 5y equals 10. If you used a table of values, you'd get the same graph. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation 2x minus 5y equals 10. Thanks for watching.